everybody, it's Davey from the 80s, and you are now entering the cinema chop shop. So park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you'll see a Patreon account. You click it, you become a member. All you got to do is try. Recommend movies, music, and trailers for me to react to. Now, with that being said, Godzilla vs. Kong has just hit the theaters. It's taking the world by storm. And I am here to point out some of the Easter eggs that you may or may not have saw. Now, granted, I've only watched this movie one time, but these are all the Easter eggs that I found on my first viewing. Now, I'm going to pay attention to my notes so that I can give it to you the way that I've seen it. Now, first of all, what I wrote down is that Mecha Godzilla Turning Evil is based on Kiryu from the 2002 movie Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla, right? So, in that movie, what happens is that they built Mecha Godzilla with the bones of the original Godzilla. So when he hears Godzilla's roar, something snaps in his head, like he gets PTSD or something, and he starts remembering what the hell happened to him in the original film, and he just starts going berserk. His eyes turn red, he starts destroying everything. Just like, this is sort of how, when the current, that they, the, the energy that they copy from Hollow Earth gets sent up, all of a sudden he remembers, and he becomes self-aware and starts destroying things, right? So it's kind of the same idea, like it's like being possessed by the previous kaiju skeletal remains that are used to form these robotic creatures. That's the way that I see it. That's the way that I'm looking at it. So I think that this Mega Godzilla design is a clear nod to cure you. And with that being said, the fact that we see Ghidorah is used as a cybernetic host is also kind of a nod to the original films. Because in, God, in 1991, they had Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. And in that film, we had a cybernetic King Ghidorah by the name of Mecha King Ghidorah. So the fact that Ghidorah was kind of fused with a cybernetic being is a nod to that character. That's what I believe, especially with one of its heads being used as a cybernetic model like in the other films, right? Now, also, we have the Hollow Earth aerial vehicle, which is the Heave. That is clearly a nod to me to um, the Super X that was featured in Return of, God, uh, Return of Godzilla, which is also 1980, Godzilla 1885, right? So that vehicle in the heave, excuse me, have clear comparisons. They look, to me, they don't look identical, but you can tell that it was an inspiration for the heave, the, 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 um, the Super X. Which the Super X theme is iconic, just throwing that out there in case you guys don't know. It doesn't suit the films, but the Super X theme has always sounded like this freaking Superman type theme for me. Uh, moving on, the Warbat wrapping, around, uh, wrapping himself around King Kong is a nod to the snake that Kong fought in the 1976 remake of King Kong starring Jessica Lange. Now, if you haven't seen that movie, there are a few nods in this movie that nod towards... There's a few Easter eggs in this movie that give nods to the 1967, 60, 76 remake to King Kong, and this is one of them. King Kong in this movie fights a snake, and it wraps itself around Kong, and he's trying to get him off, and to me, that's a clear nod. And then Warbat does the same thing, but then he throws the wings around him and tries to suffocate him. That's the only difference. But to me, him fighting a snake-like being is a nod to the 76 remake to King Kong. That's another Easter egg that I caught. Um, also... King Kong ripping Godzilla's Mecha Godzilla's head off at the end of the movie. To me, that is a nod to the original Mecha Godzilla film from 1976, where Godzilla defeats Mecha Godzilla by ripping off his head. But I know that they changed the the person doing it this time. Kong clearly gets the 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 win on against Mecha Godzilla with the help with the assist from Godzilla. My boy Godzilla acting like point guard threw up the lob. King Kong dunked it. You already know what it is. But the fact that King Kong ripped off Mecha Godzilla's head, to me that is a nod from the previous film, uh well from the previous incarnation of Mecha Godzilla, the first one when he when Godzilla rips his head off, right? That's where I got that from. Uh the skull line and scene uh at the beginning where Kong is being is bathing under the waterfall and everything like that. That's also to me a nod to the 76 King Kong remake. Uh this in the scene that I'm talking about, Jessica Lang is uh is in King Kong's palm and he puts her underneath the waterfall. The whole scenery, the whole vibe, it kind of gives you that 76 remake vibe. And that's to me, that's an Easter egg or a nod to the original film. Also Obviously, King Kong being carried by the planes in this movie, that was a nod to the original Godzilla versus Kong. I mean, Kong versus Godzilla, because in the original one, they flipped the, type, the names. That's a nod to that, where King Kong is being carried by balloons. 
Uh, also, him being sedated. He was also sedated in a previous movie with the berry juice. Um, also, the boat scene where he's being carried in this film is similar to the raft scene in the original uh, Kong vs. Godzilla. There is a lot of little um, nods in this film about that kind of, you know, pay homage to the original film, which is pretty dope. Um, what else we got here? Oh, yeah. King Kong shoving the end of the axe in Godzilla's mouth. That is another nod to Kong vs. Godzilla. Uh, in Kong vs. Godzilla, what he does is he takes a tree and he shoves it in Godzilla's mouth as he's shooting out his fire. This is really similar to what we've seen in this movie, where Kong shoves the end of his axe blade into uh, Godzilla's mouth while he's trying to shoot out his atomic breath. That is a nod to the original film. Also, the last, the last one that I want to point out that I feel like it's significant uh, is um, Kong was revived in this movie by an electrical pulse produced by the Heave. Uh, in the original Kong vs. Godzilla, Godzilla bodied Kong. He beat the shit out of him, similar how he did in the other movie, right? And Kong is revived in that movie by a sudden lightning storm that strikes him and he wakes up. So I think that them using the Heave to give him the electrical pulse is a clear nod to the original Kong vs. Godzilla. Now, with that being said, let me know if there's anything that I missed. I'm pretty sure there's tons of Easter eggs riddled throughout this movie. Granted, this is me going off literally the first time that I watched this movie. I've only watched this movie once so far. So these are all the things that I've only caught on my first go around. I'm pretty sure I'll catch more. But let me know if there's more or something that I missed. Drop them in the comment section down below. Come on, get involved and let me know what you guys find. Now that that's being said, this is David from the 80s, and you are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. I hope you guys are having a magnificent day. And I do it.